Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today, Windows 10 Professional for under $30. Yes, you can buy a legal, licensed copy of Windows 10 that you can use to activate Windows over the internet with Microsoft for less than $30. How is this possible? Not to worry, we're going to cover that today. The website you're looking at is kingwin.net. There will be a link to this in the video description below. Please go down there and check it out. Kingwin is a key reselling website. They don't sell keys themselves. They're like the eBay of key resales. If you look on this page, you will see that we've got a price of $29.20, and this is sold by Next Keys. If we scroll down, there are many other sellers that you can choose to buy from, many of which have a lot of feedback. This seller here has 41,885 transactions completed with over 1,000 feedback, all 100% positive. You can't beat that. That's because they deliver keys that work. But wait a minute. How do these companies get keys? How in the world are they getting copies of Windows 10 Professional for under $30? Let's talk about this in a little bit more detail. First of all, retail keys. Let's talk about the difference between OEM and retail because these are in fact OEM keys. We'll talk about it, don't worry. A full retail copy of Windows 10 Professional retails for $200. You'll find it discounted on Amazon. This is Amazon right here. You'll find it discounted for about $10. So $189 will get you a standard retail copy of Windows 10. I don't know about you, but that strikes me as a lot of money. There are two benefits to a retail copy. Number one, Telephone tech support from Microsoft. If you buy this and have any problems installing it or any problems using it, you in fact can pick up the phone and call Microsoft's tech support and ask them for help. How useful that help is will depend upon your problem, your level of technical, technical expertise, and how much patience you have with them, but it does in fact come with tech support. The other benefit is that this is a retail key you can upgrade your computer endlessly or even build a brand new computer and you can move this key to it. Note, you can't install this on three different computers at once. It's going to cause a conflict. But let's say you build a computer and one year from now you decide to build a whole new computer and you want to move Windows 10 to it. You can. Now keep in mind, you will lose Windows 10 on your old machine. But if you constantly upgrade your parts, that's the benefit to a retail key. What is an OEM key? Well, an OEM key costs less. This is $189. Here's the OEM key. And yes, OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer, but you, the consumer, can buy an OEM key to yourself. You don't have to be a big company to buy these. This is on Microsoft. This is on Amazon. Ships from and sold by Amazon.com, $129.24. Yes, this is the Windows 10 OEM version. Couple of differences. This is not an upgrade version. This is not meant to upgrade Windows 7 or Windows 8. This is meant to be clean installed. Second, it does not come with support from Microsoft. If you look right here, it says the OEM operating system is not supported. This doesn't mean you don't get Windows updates. This means you cannot pick up the telephone and call Microsoft on the phone and say, hey, I'm getting an error message or I need help, please help me. It's the same version of Windows that everyone uses. There's no difference in the user experience or Windows updates between the OEM and retail version. Furthermore, and this is the big one for most people, this is intended for installation on a new PC and cannot be transferred to another computer once installed. The main part in your computer that it becomes married to is your motherboard. You can absolutely change your graphics card, your RAM, even your CPU. You can change your DVD drive, you can change your hard drive, install an SSD. None of those things will cause a problem. What you can't change is your motherboard. This basically gives you a digital license for the motherboard that you have. If you change your motherboard, Windows will then become unactivated. Now, you can, of course, try calling Microsoft and say, my motherboard went bad, it was defective, I had to replace it, the old one wasn't available, I bought a new one, can you please do it? I can tell you that some people do have luck calling Microsoft on the phone. There is a phone activation you can do where you pick them up and actually speak to a real human being and you can say, my motherboard went bad, I had to replace it, my computer itself hasn't changed, I just had to buy a different motherboard, can you please activate it? And more often not than not, they will, but you do have to call them. So this is OEM, that's the OEM versus retail, but that's a lot of money to pay for essentially a one-time use key. 
So how in the world is this $100 less at just $29.20 at kingwin.net? Simple. Microsoft does not sell Windows 10 for the same price everywhere in the world. In Asia, Africa, and South America, the price for Windows 10 is different than it is in North America and Europe. Why? Simple economics. There's more money in North America and Europe. People can pay more money for Windows, so they charge more because that's capitalism. Microsoft does not restrict where their product keys can be activated. A Windows licensed purchase from Microsoft in China activates in America or Europe. Likewise, a Windows 10 license purchased in North America or Europe activates in China. There's no restrictions. Because of this, companies that buy bulk Windows licenses from Microsoft, and yes, Microsoft got paid for these keys. They do work. I've bought multiple keys of this myself. I've activated them. If you've watched my recent $4,000 Ultimate System build, that system is activated with a copy of Windows 10 Pro purchased right here. So it does work. Microsoft just didn't get paid as much as they would have if you bought the one from Amazon. But they did get paid for it. It will activate online. This gives you a way to basically take advantage of the lower prices in foreign countries, currency exchange rates, and so on and so forth. I mentioned before that Kingwin is kind of like the eBay of key resales and there are many other people to buy from. Kingwin doesn't sell anything themselves, but if you're all concerned about buying from these sellers, even though if you look, 100% positive feedback, 38,000 completed orders, you have the option to pay $1.12. This, this $1.12 goes to Kingwin. It's buyer protection. If for whatever reason the key doesn't work, it's invalid, you have an activation problem, Kingwin will either refund your money or replace it with a new key. Basically, just contact the customer service and they'll take care of you. If you don't pay the $1.12, then you're on your own. You're depending upon the seller that you choose to buy from being good. Now, when I buy keys, I buy them five at a time because I have many machines. I have a business in an office. I don't pay the $1.12 because it's per key. And after a while, you just it doesn't make sense for me. If you're buying one key, I actually recommend you pay the $1.12 peace of mind, and you're backed up by Kingwin. Kingwin's been around for a long time. If you're at all worried that Kingwin is a real site, check this out. Trustpilot.com is one of those review sites. Uh, uh, 1,512 reviews on Trustpilot with an 8.2 out of 10 rating, four stars. Now, why not 10, 10 out of 10? Why not five stars? Because there's plenty of grumpy people in the world who just have reasons to complain. Remember, it takes 10 plus happy people to get one happy review. It usually only takes one or two grumpy people to leave a grumpy review. So what this really means is that there's a whole lot of happy people and very few grumpy people. As we scroll down, and I will put a link to this in the video description below, easy to navigate, great customer source, fast and reliable, great site, it's awesome, perfect. Now, key was invalid, buyer assistance not paid me, however... Kingwin asked for a contact. I had not paid the buyer protection. That's why I'm recommending that if you buy a key and you're just buying one, pay the $1.12 to have Kingwin. This person didn't buy the buyer protection and bought from a bad buyer. It's just like eBay. But on eBay, everybody gets buyer protection. On Kingwin, you have to pay a dollar for the buyer protection. I think the dollar's worth it because you don't want to buy one key and get stiffed. You're not likely to get stiffed, but anything's possible. Good experience. Now, let's go down here. Key didn't work. Service replies took very long. Some people are impatient. If you're impatient, this is probably not for you. If we scroll down one more, look at this one. One star unhappy. Paid via PayPal since 13 hours. No key, no support. Directly confirmed 13 hours ago. Patience, people. This is not Amazon. They do contact you, but replies take between 24 to 48 hours. Don't go online and buy a key if you need it in the next 30 minutes. I know we're spoiled by customer service from places like Newegg and Amazon, and even eBay is pretty good about customer service these days. Give them 24 to 48 hours to respond. They're a small company compared to the big fish. Patience. Have some patience. So 
Um, great service, best website for buying games, had some reservations, but it worked out. Yes, there are some unhappy people, but look at the wait. Look, I paid with Bitcoin. It took longer than usual, but I received the key and it worked. Buy one of these when you have 24 to 48 hours to wait for the key. Furthermore, let me be clear about Kingwin. If you've never bought anything there before, and you go online and buy 10 keys, don't be shocked when it takes a while because they verify your account and they contact you and ask for additional information. I highly recommend you buy one key your first purchase. They are very strict about uh, buyer protection and about fraud alerts. So somebody who creates a new account and spends $300 on keys is going to trigger that in a manual review and it will slow down the process. Just buy one key your first time. That happened to me. I bought several keys. It took a while. Now I can go online and buy a key anytime I want, and I usually have the key within an hour. But that didn't happen on my first purchase. So buy one key your first time, establish an account, establish a relationship with them, try it out. That's what I recommend. So when it comes to reviews, and by all means, you can search other sites. Type in kingwin.net space reviews into Google and get tons and tons of reviews. But yes, this is a real site. They've been around for years and years and years. I've bought many things from them myself. There's no need to spend $129 when you can spend $29. What if you don't want Windows 10 Professional? What if you want Windows 10 Home? For the price difference, go ahead and buy the Pro in my opinion. But if you need a home key, maybe because you've already got home installed, $27. It doesn't save much. $27 buys you an OEM home key. And if you want to compare that, those are $90 on Amazon.com. This is the OEM copy of Windows 10 Home on Amazon for $90. Over here on Kingwin, it is $27. So if you've not installed Windows 10, my recommendation is to go ahead and install the Pro version and spend the extra $2 and get the Pro version. It comes with a couple of extra features. Home doesn't. It's not a big deal, but hey, for the price, why not? If you'd rather just get the home version or home is already installed and thus you need a home key, here's where you'll get it. In the video description below will be linked both this page and this page and just so you can compare it, the two Amazon pages as well. And I will link the kingwin.net review here on Trustpilot and of course you can Google search for it as well if you're not concerned. I have used Kingwin for more than a dozen different keys, both Windows and games. It's fine. By all means, questions and comments go below this video. Like it if you like it, don't if you don't. Uh, check out the video description for the links. Be sure to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, let me know in the comments. And if it wasn't, let me know in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.